Welcome biologists. In this session, we're going to be taking a look at how our tissues and cells and organs are arranged within our bodies. And there are some specific examples here that we need to be aware of. So there are some definitions that we need to start off with, first of all. So cells, obviously we know what a cell is. We did cell ultrastructure. These are grouped together in tissues and tissues are the same type of cell working together for the same function. Um, that is in a red box. It is taken directly from the mark scheme, so we do definitely need to be aware of that definition. So, for example, here I have muscle cells grouped together to make up muscle tissue, all working together for the same function, which is contraction. Here I have a nerve cell, which, um, when grouped together, make up nerve tissue. Again, all to do working together for the same function in terms of communication. Now, um, an organ, so first of all, tissues, these are some examples of tissues we need to be aware of. And an organ is a group of different tissues working for a similar function. For example, you could have, for example, in the stomach, you would have all of these types of tissues and they work together in the stomach to help break down your food, for example. Different organs make up organ systems. Now, it's really important you don't just say the word system here because you will not get the marks. You have to say organ system. So, for example, these different organs there on that slide there, you can see they all form the digestive system or part of the digestive system. Now, it's really important, like I said there, you have to say organ system and not just systems. Now, all those organ systems that you can see here on the outside of this diagram here, they all work together to make up the whole organism, such as yourself. An example of this would be like, for example, you as a student are a cell. Uh, in your tutor group, you would be a tissue working together. And then in your year group would be an organ. And then in your for your upper and lower six would be organ systems and then an organism would be an example for example the full college so these are the examples that you need to know in your specification so um individual role of the tissue so squamous epithelial allows for thin diffusion pathway and ciliated epithelial waft mucus back to the back of the throat and these two tissues work together in the lungs now you're going to learn more about lungs when you get onto exchange surfaces um, we, again, we use cartilage to hold the trachea open during negative pressure and we use muscle to constrict the airways. And again, they work in the lungs to help control ventilation, which again, you'll learn more about when you get onto exchange surfaces. The xylem transports water up the plant for transpiration and the phloem transports the similates up and down the plant in translocation. And these create the vascular bundles in the plants. And again, you will learn more about these when you move on to transport in plants. So there we have it. That's the specification point I on the OCR specification for A-level biology. And we've looked at some specific examples there as well. Guys, good luck with your exams and all the best.